Welcome back guys to Wonderful Wellington. I think that's what we're going to call it from now on, Wonderful Wellington. Now I'm going to warn you up front, this, this episode, it could be a shambles. Because whilst, whilst I have done some testing and some research and stuff, I've also been spending a lot of time um, on other things. Um, which, which is other things like related to this, but kind of I like I off on a bit of a tangent because I've been I've been trying like desperately um, to figure out how I can improve my frame rates specifically for when I start doing the the ride videos for this map which isn't going to be for a little while but when I do it I want the frame rates to be good and currently I'm really struggling to get 30 30 frames per second now um, one thing that I have done, um, I, which I've actually done, I've actually got working today, is to uh, overclock my CPU. Um, it was already overclocked because it's a, it's it's a forty seven ninety um, Haswell chip, and it was uh, it was overclocked from um, from f from four gigahertz to four point four. I've now overclocked it to four point seven, right, and it has given me like. Uh, a few extra frames per second, like uh, like two or three, something like that. Which which like when you're dropping below thirty, every frame counts. So like, is it good news? Yes, it's good news. Um, but it's still kind of not good enough. And I've actually been looking at um, uh, getting a new PC, but that's a whole thing. I've actually spent probably over the last two weeks. I've probably spent forty hours looking at my new PC build and trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. And I still haven't like come up with a final decision on a few things. But anyway, right, what do we get? What are we actually going to do in this episode? What we're actually going to do in this episode is sit here for 40 minutes looking at Wellington and going, ooh, shiny. No, not really. <laughs> not really, but we could. We could because I freaking love it. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, somebody came up with, um, in fact, more than one person came up with the suggestion of... Um, wouldn't it be cool if you could expand it to the other side of the river? And you know what? They're right, because when you get down here and, and you're coming into the town, like, it, you do you do kind of get the thing, it, it, it's a bit bare on this side, you know? And like, how many, how many towns have you visited where there's a great big town on one side of the river and there's nothing on the other side of the river, like nothing at all. I mean, it just kind of doesn't happen. And the other good thing that I thought about doing this is that it allows me to put some more bridges in. <laughs> and you know what a sucker I am for some extra bridges. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do some other things in this episode and I've got some extra mods to talk to you about. So, um, so let's see, let's see what we can do. And I've, I've done a lot of episodes recently, which have been like, like, like getting loads done, but it's all been lots of time lapse and whatever. And I thought we'd try and have an episode where we wouldn't have so much of that. Partially and probably largely to save me some time because I haven't got that much time to actually get this video out. Um, but but primarily because I think now and again, you want to play the game, right? I, the people have said this to me. Like, you know, now and again, just play the game. So we're going to play the game. Right, so let's do it. Uh, what do I want? I want my flattened tool because we, we want to come square across the river. So I'm thinking if we plop it in kind of sort of about there and then on the other side, kind of sort of about there, that should work. Now, I could have put a flat bridge in here, like a low bridge, because the boats are not going to come through here. So I could have put in a low bridge. But I think the, the, the higher bridges do kind of look nicer. Now, I want to put three bridges in. Uh, one at this end, one in the middle, and one at this end. And I've got a very specific reason for wanting to do that. Now, I would like the bridge to come off here, um, so that we're, we're very close to the to the station um, but where do we whether I'm going to be able to come up with something that's anything like half decent I don't know so this is something I'm gonna to have to play around with a little bit so what we're gonna do is um, again we want this coming across the river 
like pretty straight. So let's angle you around to about there, I'm thinking. Yeah, to about there. Now, I'm very tempted to put this like as close to the edge as possible and get a bit of a cliff face because I think that might actually look good. So, like how? That's as close as I can get it. So, let's plop that in. See, that's given us a nice, a nice cliff face, which I kind of like. And then we want the same thing on the other side. Uh, a little bit further across, maybe. Uh, about there, I'm thinking. Oh, if I can get, get the thing to actually go in. So this one, let's bring you around. How do we want to come across the river here? Um, see, I, I mean, I guess it would be kind of sensible to have it at the narrowest point there. I mean, there's at least there's some, some kind of logic to that. So let's turn you around just a fraction and pop you in there and have the one on this side just about there. All right. Cool. So having plopped those in, and there is more to this than just like throwing some bridges in. Trust me. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Uh, get rid of these. I've, I've actually got some ideas for this, which which should make it reasonably cool. Well, sort of coolish. Yeah, let's go with sort of coolish. Now, I'm, I think I'm only going to use medium streets for this. Um, I, obviously, I could use larger, uh, but I think we're going to go with with smaller. So I'm thinking to start these like pretty close to the edge, like that, it's just so that I've got the maximum amount of room to to like get down from this height. So I'm also thinking that rather than having absolutely flat bridges. The general consensus seems to be that having having a slight uh, arc to, to bridges that go over ri over rivers looks better. So if we just do it like that, like, like just like raise it one one click, and I think they're right. I mean, what do you think? It's, you look at it like that, and it's like meh. But you just raise it. It's like yeah, 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 I, yeah. I can I can buy into that. And I'll tell you what, we've we've actually got like half reasonable positionings on our pillars, which is nice. So I think we're going to take that. So this one we want now, this one I want like pretty much right on the freaking edge from there to there. And again, see, I'm looking at my pillar positions. Now my pillar positions on this are not as nice. They are not as nice. Now I could give myself a little bit of extra space to try and get better pillar, pillar, pillar positions. I think we only need to go like uh, in a little bit, but if I do that, I'm going to lose my nice edges, which, and I kind of like those edges. So it means I get an extra pillar there than I've got on this side. Can I, can I live with that? I think we probably can live with that. Uh, let's uh, let's lift you up. Does that do anything? No, that doesn't change anything. All right. So, what's that? yeah, that's that. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And then finally, this one. And I'm, I think I'm going to get fairly crappy positions with this one as well. Pillar positions, that is. Um, let's run that like that. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Now this one I can tamper with. So let, let's do a bit of tampering, shall we? So if I get my thinnest road, which is probably a small street, and just flatten this off there and do the same on the other side, like that, just to give us a tiny bit more room what does that actually do to our pillar positions? So let's have a little look. Run that across like that. Oh, and now, 
funnily enough, we've got better pillar positions. Would you look at that? So we've, we've I mean, it's not perfect, right? But we've got a pillar on that side, pillar on that side, and then one there, one there. Now, if I if I move it around, I might be able to get it slightly better. Nah, nah. Nah, it doesn't want to move this pillar again. Now I could faff around with these a lot more, <laughs> but I think that that's going to be fine. If I raise it up one. Then we've got no impediment to the boat, so they'll say sail right through. So I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go with that. Um, is it? Does it look straight? Yeah, it looks pretty darn straight. So we'll go with that. All right. So we've added three kind of sort of nice bridges. All we've got to do now is hook the darn things up so that they don't look god awful. But man, look how freaking steep that is. It's crazy steep. Do I, do I force them to come out here? I, I think probably we do. I think probably we do. So I'm not going to hook that up to here, which means that I can steal that, which means I can get a, a flatter approach. Do I want it curvy or do I want it? I probably want it straight. So that's not too bad. I mean, I can live with that. See, this is the thing about doing it at this kind of speed rather than doing it like like me commenting over time lapse is that I can actually tell you about my thought processes as I'm doing things like better than when I'm doing because I've, I've got more time so I can do better than when I'm time lapsing now the question I've got here is do I want the the road that I'm going to have running along this side do I want it like pretty much flat so pretty much like this level or do I actually want it raised up a little bit and I don't know. Stop asking me difficult questions. The, see, the only problem is that I don't really want like houses building along here and creating really nasty terrain. So I think this should actually like curve in. I think it'll actually, if I do that, I think it'll actually look better. Um, so if I if I drop this down just like a lot, just a bit like that. Now, if I get houses building here, they won't look so horrendous. They will if they build here, but I can I can prevent them from building there if I want to. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. And then we'll run it down. Now, how close I get to the to the coast is actually kind of important because what we want is is kind of this sort of thing where there's not really very much between the edge of the river the riverside that's the word i was looking for between the riverside and the apartments right this is this is pretty much okay you know some places there's a little bit but not too much if there's too much then we'll have too many trees in the way and then it won't won't look I think this is pretty much bang on so I want to get a similar kind of distance which is not not really that much I mean it's probably probably coming down to that kind of width so um, now what we want to do is say we want to go um, ah. yeah I want to go flat from this point all the way along so is that so I'm thinking that's maybe coming out a little bit, coming out a little bit too far. We want to keep it fairly tight. About that side. Yeah, that's about right. It's about right. So let's take that. Then I think having kind of established that baseline, we can start to whiz along here like this. Now we've got to get up to here. So again, I think. We want to step back a little bit. Flat. And then bring that down to meet that. So we want this to come along 
here and then go up to that. Okay, fine. So, so that's it. just bring it in a touch. So probably about something like there. Hmm. I think that needs to go back a little bit further. And I, I am wondering, like, should I should I actually angle that? I think I should angle that down slightly. I think it'll, in the end, give us a better result. Yeah, go on. We'll 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 see. We'll see what it does. So I don't bring it down too much. Yeah, I, th that's probably that's probably okay. Like seriously, how much am I? How much attention am I putting into putting in one freaking little road? A lot, and for, and for very good reason. See, and that was me talking to you. I got that wrong. I went down instead of being flat. There we go. That's better. So now we can come up to this. And what does that do? Oh, yeah, it doesn't distort it too much. That's probably not too bad. I would like it if it did more of a more of an S bendy kind of thing. I'll bring that out. Let me do. That's more like it. That's much better. All right, cool. Boom. And then on this side, we want a kind of sort of similar sort of thing going on. And have you hooked into? Yeah. I think it. I think it does it. Yeah, it does seem to do it slightly better coming that way. What do we think? A little bit higher on this side than it was on the other side of the bridge. But that's okay, a little bit of variety, not a bad thing. So this we want to be absolutely flat. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better. Bosch. And round like this. And we're almost, almost to the other bridge. <laughs> when you consider how much I got done in the last episode and you compare it with this, oh my lord. Yeah, bit of a difference. Huh? I spent 30 minutes doing this, crazy. Okay, so what we wanna do now is, is try and get some of this stuff to grow over here. So let's hook this up. How I'm gonna hook this up, I have no freaking idea. Let's go with that. And then we want you to come out pretty much 90 degrees and then come down to there. Now that is, that's awesome. That works. All right, cool. Boom, you're in. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. I just need it to come up a little bit. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Yeah, I could live with something like that. What do you think? All right, so uh, I'm not gonna faff around with that anymore now. So we've got this road in. I like that road, it's nice and nice and bendy. Um, so now we just need to do this one. Uh, how the hell am I gonna hook this up? It's a very, very good question. Um, like if I, oh. Okay, well that, that surprised me that that's come out as nice as that is. If we take it a little bit further, it's just this bit that's not very nice. I mean, that slope's fine. Oh, now it's gone nice. We'll take that then. Uh, yeah, this road's fine. Yeah, that's that will do for me. Boom, in you go. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And then, obviously, I'll smooth these off. I'm not going to faff around with them now, but all of this, all of this stuff, I can play around with and, and smooth out. Um, I'm going to have to, at some point, run this on for quite a while, so I'll have time to mess around with those kinds of things. All right. So, having got those in, next. <laughs> God, uh, it's taken a while. Um, Let's get uh, some bus stops put in 
oh yes, we're gonna have a bus route. We've got a track, we've got a train, like a, a, a light railway, we've got trams, let's have some buses. Let's have some buses. So what do I want? I want passengers, uh, road, bus. So let's have some buses along here. Um, now let's see. I want a bus stop there. I want a bus stop there. Should I put the should I put the bus stops on so you know if you see what the hell I'm doing? <laughs> probably a good idea. And then probably one in between the two. So let's put one in there. And then I want one there and I want one at this end. And boom. And then again, probably one just in between the two. So probably about. Oh, come on. Why won't you go in the middle? <laughs> Stupid thing. Why won't you go in the middle? All right, well, it'll have to be slightly offset. Okay, so we've got those done. So how is how is this gonna work? Well, what I want is for this bus route to actually connect to the three pass to, to the three train stations. So we've already got a nice bus station at this end that we can utilize, so that's fine. And then we want something here. So let's have it, I don't know, like just in here would be fine. Um, or I could put it, I could put it in front here. Yeah, let's put it in front here. So, um, maybe just back from the, from the junction there. And then we want one at this end. Now again, I could put in a little bus station like I've got at this end. Um, do I want to? The problem is where the hell I would put it. I can't put it underneath there and it wouldn't fit in there. So I'd have to start messing around with roads. So I think we just throw it in here and not worry about it too much. All right, cool. So um, I'm now gonna like kick this off and get this running uh, on triple speed and hope to God that we can encourage some of the residential to move over here, which like, I don't know. I mean, it'll either happen or it won't. And, and we know from Biggleswade that um, this has been sitting here for, for a very long time wanting the industry to move over here and it hasn't. Although, okay, I'll, I'll let you into a secret. I did have a play around with Biggleswade and I did manage to get the industry to come over here. But Biggleswade, I, you know, I was, I was, I was going to do Biggleswade. Ooh, uh, um, but I started looking at Biggleswade. Oh my God, Biggleswade's got massive freaking issues. Uh, the, the big problem is the fact that we've only got two platforms on here and it's causing the trains to, uh, to back up. Um, you'll normally have like three trains waiting because we've got, um, we've got the, the Eastbourne Aspatria coming up here. We've got the Biggles Wade uh, Wellington coming up here. And we've also got these, um, the air, the air trains coming from the airport. And it's just, we need more platforms. We need at least two more platforms, at least. So anyway, so yes, yeah, so yeah, anyway, I'm digressing. Uh, gives us a bit of time though to see. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Stop. Okay, well, let's put this line in and then like keep our fingers crossed. Uh, what color should we do this? Should we do it like, I don't know. What color should we do it? Should we do it? Um, let's do it green. We haven't had a green line for ages. So we want that and then the way this line's gonna work, we'll start from this little bus station here. Then we'll zip across the river and go there and there and there. And are we gonna go there? No, we're not. We're gonna zip in to here, then come back and go there, 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 and then whiz across the river to there. Then we're gonna come back, North Street, St. John's Road, Alexander Road. Then we're gonna go back over to here. Now, because I've hooked it up the way I've hooked it up, this should do something very nice with the route. Probably won't do it until I've done 
like the whole route. So. Yeah, I may have to tinker with that because that should have done something not. I was expecting that to do something much nicer with the route. I was expecting it to go in one way and out the other way. Oh, I know how to fix it. I know how to fix it. So, uh, yeah, then we come back to there and then it's back to uh, Wellington North. If I come over here and go to Church Lane and check the terminals and say, yeah, see, they're both going through the same one. If I move that to Terminal 2. Okay, uh, next thing. Next thing. Have we, have we got any yet? Yeah. No, we still haven't got any. Oh, look, it's tried to build a road, though. Oh, it might happen. It might happen. Right, over here. Now I can talk about one of the mods that I've got. Let's close that down. Um, this is a mod. We want, It basically stops these roads building out. And the way we do it, I'm going to have to stop the game um, while I do this. So I'm going to trim these roads back. And you... And you, and you, and you. Okay, so this mod, it's um, it's actually for curb stones, but it, it serves this extra purpose. And where the hell is, oh, it's in, uh, here we go. It's in track, uh, it took me ages to find it because I wasn't expecting it to be a, a track asset, but it is a track asset. And it's and it's got an icon of a flower pot. I don't, like, don't ask me why. Now there are three there are three parts to this mod. And these other two, I honestly really don't see what the hell they they're used for. This puts in um, where can I show you? My, my, my bit. Um, these things. Now first of all, I it's this is the American terrain and I I'm not like massively fond of that in the first place. Now you can change them. Um, and there's one that actually looks good, um, which is not that one. That one's, I mean, that one's kind of, sort of, okay. I can imagine using that, like, maybe once or twice on the map. Um, but things like, things like that, right? No. Like, if it didn't have the objects on, fair enough. And, like, this one. Now, this would be brilliant for a town square, right, that I could decorate myself. But it's got a stupid pile of steel and, and and a wooden box on it. And and that spoils it for me. This should have been this should have like had nothing on it apart from that thing in the center. And then you can decorate it yourself. Because that texture is awesome. Love that cobblestone texture. But there you go, is what it is. Um anyway, so um yeah, I, God knows. And then this one, uh, it's basically this texture. According to this, it's for making, um, it's for like doing tunnels and ramps and stuff. But I don't, I don't like really understand. Again, like that texture I could maybe do something with. But, but this, I don't, I don't get it. And, and you can make it bigger and different shapes and sizes and you can angle it and whatever. But why the hell would I want that? I, I, I seriously, I don't understand. Um, so anyway. But this, this is brilliant. <laughs> this saved my life because I was, I was running out of like things to th like. What could I possibly do? And thank you to the person that recommended this mod to me. So um, you've got you've got two versions of this. So you've got like just like regular curbstones that you can put in, and you can play around with um, the the height and the like how long they are and stuff. Um, but it just goes in, it's just like, it's just a curbstone. De like, depending on, on where you put it and whether the terrain's flat or whatever, you can just have a little bit sticking up or whatever. Um, but, as well as that, you can also have the T version, which is the transparent version. Oh yeah. So you put this in and you can't see it. <laughs> which of course, makes it freaking perfect. So, if I just plonk it in, and you can't see it very well, but you can just about see it there. Now, if I plonk this in behind these buildings, um, it'll stop any roads being, um, it'll stop the, the AI building any roads out from there. So if I might just plonk one in there. Now it might get rid of the odd tree, but that's about it. Um, let's flip you around. It's, it is, the only problem is it's a bit difficult to see 
like like where's it extending to and that kind of stuff. So a little bit more. When you're on normal ground or on the fields or whatever, then you can see what the hell you're doing. But when you're in the woods, God, you can't see a goddamn thing. See now you get a nice black line, and then it's really freaking easy. So let's put one in there and there. Ah, now here. Um, I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put in a small one. <laughs> yeah, all right. Stop it. Stop it. I can hear you giggling. We'll put in a small one, like there, just to finish that, so that nothing can come out from there. Um, the the thing is, I don't want buildings building up here. So, or like at least not large buildings. I mean, I mean, I don't mind like the odd one or whatever, and I certainly don't want roads coming out from here. Um, and it will do, it will put roads probably up to as far as like up here. So we'll take our collision object, go back to our T8s, flip it around and then plonk some of these in along here. Yeah, and then that one there. And then we can come around this side and go along that way. Right, I'm not gonna put uh, am I going to put the... Um, you know what? I'm almost there. So I'll, I'm, tr I'm trying to like get on with this. But... Uh, it, it, well, I told you this episode might be a bit of a shambles. But it is what it is. Okay, so... like, And again, I'm going to need to do the same thing here. Because otherwise it's going to try and build roads off here. So... Um, but you know what? I can do that while... While this... Well, we let this try and grow. So, yeah. Now that I've actually, now that I've blocked this side off, it might be more of an encouragement to this to actually build. I'm really hoping that the first building is going to appear before I do an edit. And there it is. <laughs> first building. First building. It didn't take long. Like... Literally, it was just waiting me for me to, to like a bit too long, so that I had to put in an edit. There you go. There is the first building, and you know what? That spacing's just about right. So that if we uh, we get the old smooth tool, because I'll kind of run over the edge of here every so often. Um, but if I do that, will, it, will you will you smooth that edge off? Yeah, you'll just smooth that edge off kind of nicely. liking it all right oh we've got another one yeah yes we've got another one right next to it you know what let's turn that off let's see what they actually look like so that's well i think that's pretty much perfect now that i think that's one of the narrowest spots isn't it yeah pretty much and it's gonna put some roads going inland so i'm gonna have to smooth this back edge off uh, but that's okay although you know i don't know i might smooth it off i might not and i, I might end up having a a top road, a high road, going along the top to kind of link where it puts these um, these roads going up here. But since it started, right now I can go away and I'll just let it build, and we'll come back and take a look at it when it's all done. And here it is. Well, I won't say completely done, but there's enough in there, in, and it's of the right type of, of buildings. For me to say, you know what, now it can just kind of get on with it while I do other things, while I go and do other towns, and it can just grow a little bit more, which I'm sure it will. Um, let's have a look at the RCI. Now, this this has not been easy. The, the town wanted to do anything other than what I wanted it to do. It wanted to grow industry on this side of the river, and I really had to fight it. And what I've ended up doing is is taking out some of the uh, some of the commercial from, from this area and basically shuffling it down. So I've taken residential out of these blocks so that the, uh, the commercial is built over here. And the residential wanted to build anywhere but over here. You can see that it's filled in down here as far as it can. It's gone all around here, which is great. I want it to go around there. Um, but it meant I had to wait a very long time to get any kind of decent amount over here. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, what else? Let's let's turn that off now, so you can actually have a look at this. We're going to have a ride round 
on one of the buses. Here's one of the buses, by the way, and I've colour coded the buses the, to be the same as the trams, and I've made the intercity buses purple. So you can you can tell which buses are which. <laughs> See, there's method in the madness. Um, you know what? I think we'll start as there's a bus that's just pulled out of here. We'll jump on that bus and we'll have a little bit of a ride round. So we should hang a left here. Here we go. And now these now these buildings are built on this side. This looks so much better. I'll, I'll actually I'll try and remember to show you uh, around that kind of outside road. Oh look, look, look! It already looks awesome. And I'm starting to build. <laughs> I'm starting to build up some trivia for uh, when I do the, when I do the journeys when I when I video the, the the different journeys, the train journeys, bus journeys, whatever in the different towns. Um, I don't want it to just be, you know, the ride. I'm going to do commentaries on them, but I want to throw in kind of like some, you know, develop some lore and throw in some silly trivia and whatever um, for the for the different journeys. You know, either about the area or the route or, you know, wh like whatever. Who's driving the train or all kinds of silly nonsense. And I've got to come up, I've been giggling away. I've come up with some real nonsense for this place. Oh yeah. I, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. So we're going through the, um, the residential area at the moment. And coming up towards the commercial area. Which is, um, which is over by the middle bridge. And you can see as we, as we go past this junction up here. The junction with the bridge. You'll see, you know, this is where the people who live on this side of the, of the river come to do their shopping. Here's the general store. And uh, it's also a nice place to visit. This is um, Mrs. Miggins' speciality, speciality pie shop and restaurant. I'll tell you what, while that bus goes over there. No. Wouldn't you, seriously, wouldn't you just love to sit out there on a summer's day? Have a pint and a pie? Blimmin'. Blimmin' awesome. It's, um, it is very, very picturesque. And even, the, even the buildings that are, that are building here, um, like this, this, there's two of them side by side here. I mean, that is kind of, per I mean, wouldn't you love to stay there? I think these are little, like, rental places where, like, like, like little hotels. You've got your little balcony, you can sit out. Sip your, sip your banana daiquiri while you're looking out over the river. On a hot day, obviously. On a cold day, you wouldn't have a banana daiquiri. That'd be silly. You'd have a pint, <laughs> obviously. Right, so, um, so yeah, see, there's another one over here. They're really nice. It's kind of, it's kind of perfect. Sit on the balcony, look out, look out over the, <laughs> over the, the industrial chimneys pour it out black smoke yeah I think you probably want it like you know, like in the in the guides it's gonna say yeah go up the go up this end of the town don't go don't stay down there but yeah it's turned out brilliantly should we should we finish finish the bus ride um, where's there a bus go on I didn't put too many buses on which way are you going you're going oh you're going the right way excellent so, sorry we didn't get to see the going to the station, but there's, there's only so much time in these videos. I've, I've already, uh, I already know that I'm going to have to edit this down quite a lot because I spent a lot of time building this blooming road and the bridges and stuff. But we want to see it. It has turned out very, very nice. this I mean yeah okay it needs, needs a little bit of smoothing around the place but then like when doesn't it need smoothing it always needs smoothing but man this looks good yeah I, I, I think we're are we gonna jump out uh, go on I tell you what we'll 
We'll finish off the jet. We'll go down and we'll go down to the to the station. Because we get to go over the bridge then and see see what that view's like. And <laughs> the thing is, I want to see what it looks like. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be making these videos for you, but I want to see what this looks like. Man, we're even getting, you know, the odd little bit of traffic. We are getting passengers on these buses as well, which kind of staggered me. Not like millions, but we get in a few passengers. Oh, man. I mean, look at it. Freaking look at it. It's all looking good. And the roads are not too bad. There's no, like, really janky bits that I've seen so far. There's one little janky bit at the bridge down at the bottom end. But other than that, and that's even, even that's not, like, too bad. And here we are. We're at the station. We could jump on the train and whiz down really quick rather than, rather than go back on the bus. So, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. That's um, that's our little journey around. We need um, we need a name for this side of the of the river, don't we? So I don't know. Maybe maybe this is like Lower Wellington and this is Upper Wellington. I don't know. I've actually called the bus um, the bus uh, Wellington Riverside. I thought that was a nice nice name for the bus. Wellington Riverside. Or maybe no, maybe this is maybe this is what they refer to as Riverside. This is Wellington Riverside and this is Wellington. Does that, that sound reasonable? Look at all this stuff upgrading. My God, have you ever seen that? Look at all the cranes. Holy hell. Millions of them. That's a lot of freaking upgrading. Come on, you know what? Speed up a bit. Turn into real places. I want to see what it, see what it's all upgraded to. God, it's going crazy with the upgrading. Awesome source. And it looks like we have got one or two, even one or two more properties going in. Yeah, 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 it's keeping going. My God. So, yeah, I would say that that has turned out to be a success. I mean, I'll wait and see in the comments to see what you think. But, man, I, I, think, that's a, I think that's a success. I think that has improved it. I didn't think Wellington could get any better, but that has made it better, definitely. So thank you to the people that suggested that I do that, because I think it's been really, really worthwhile. There's one more thing. You know what? I'll mention it in this video, because like I said, I got, some, I got some more mods. There's one mod. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to show it to you now very, very quickly. By the way, a couple of people have asked me what this is. It's actually water. It's part of the, uh, the BLS set, and it's literally just, um, just a couple of water thing so like you can just drop it into a an area like this over here to create a uh, some kind of water feature uh, but there are other ways to do it now um, so i wouldn't i mean well i, I could say i wouldn't recommend it also the reason i don't like it is it's 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 too light blue it should be a darker blue like like the rivers um, anyway, that's that. What was I actually going to show you? What I was actually going to show you, if I can freaking find it. Uh, I've no idea where it is. Uh, no. Uh, it's certainly not in there. Is it maybe under miscellaneous? No. Um, God, it could, I mean, it could be freaking anywhere in here. That's, uh, no, uh, no, no. Where the hell is it? No, no, no. I want to show it to you because it, it, it is actually quite cool. It's not under goods. Decor oh, here we go. Here we go. It was under the same one. Oh, well, no, it wasn't because I was at the top, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a huge guy. Um, it's these animals. Now, before, we had the BLS animals, uh, which are... Uh, where's the BLS? That's Deco, Deco, Deco. BLS animals. We had the BLS animals. Uh, and so there was like one horse and one cow standing, one cow sitting, a pig, a goat, and a sheep. Now we've got this. This is a this is a mod called Deco Animals, and we've now got three different sheep. We've got uh, an ibex. I mean, God knows what an ibex is doing here, uh, and a pig. Freaking awesome! We've got um, 
we've got a whole bunch of cows, including some nice black and white Frisians, which is a little bit awesome. Oh, and all kind of different. So they don't all look the same, which is, oh, I can't wait to go around and start doing, decorating with these. Uh, what's the milk? <laughs> oh man. Oh, by the way, if anybody's been to Zurich and seen the painted cows, uh, they're, they're awesome as well. That's just reminded me of that. Um, and so yeah, like loads of those. And uh, we've got goats, we've got four different goats. We've got three different horses. And he looks fairly posh, don't you think? I think that's one of the posh horses. So see, yes, they're all posh horses. They're different colored posh horses. All right, we'll leave it there because this video, I'm gonna have to edit this down so much because I've overrun so much, but I've been having so much fun. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, I, I, the one thing I didn't mention, I, um, I did have to do a little bit more work. To st it was trying to build roads on this side, like every little nook and cranny that it could find to build roads. And it's, it's got as far as here on this side and, whoops, and here on this side. And then it didn't go any further. And I've left those two in just to, just to show you. And I, I think I'll probably leave those in. It didn't go up here, thank goodness. And then it just like said, like I think it gave up and it was like, oh, all right, then I'll build them on the other side of the river. And these ones, all these ones over here, I'm gonna leave. And if these extend, I don't mind. I'm quite happy for it to do that organically. You know what, I'm gonna leave you, I, I think I'm gonna leave you with that view because that, yeah, what can I say? I can say, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.